You can't. For instance, there's days where I feel like I can't go on anymore. I physically am tired and hurting in, in ways that people just don't understand just because I don't go to doctors and get a bunch of diagnoses. And also my healthcare went bad when I was trying to get an x-ray for my head. All of a sudden, after the x-ray, lost my medical. But God is my healer. And and when or maybe this is my thorn in the flesh that won't be healed until I go home with him. I don't know. But his word is a rock for me. Because in my weakness, I know that he's strong. So there's a security net. I can lean on him. I know him as a living father who really will care for my needs. Who really cares for me. He cares for my soul. He cares for me in, in my physical affliction too. When it gets to be too much, he always restores me supernaturally. And his mercies are new every day. He's a God that I can lean on. I can trust in. I can stand on. In my weakness, he is strong. He's the same God that split the Red Sea. Remember when it parted and the Israelites walked through? He's the God of the impossible. All things are possible with God for the one who believes. It says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I don't have to lean on my strength. I lean on his strength. He lives on the inside of me. His, his, his name is Jesus. It's the Holy Spirit. He's amazing. He died for me to be forgiven so I could receive the Holy Spirit. So you could receive the Holy Spirit. To, and then we could really see, have eyes to see and ears to hear his word. But without his Holy Spirit, you won't even see it. You'd be blind by the flesh and pride. You'd be locked out of the kingdom. You gotta have humility. Realize that you're not good in and of yourself. Ask him to your heart, y'all, because the mark of the beast is about to be here. And if you don't take it, you won't be able to buy or sell. And you might lose some people that you love dearly to the mark, thinking that they were saved and they're not. Thinking that they knew God and they don't. Love the word. It says in Matthew 4.4 4, that we cannot live by bread alone. Let me read it. Let me read it. I'm going to get it. Let me read this to you guys. Out of the Bible. Look at this right here. See this? Red letters. It's important. Red is like an alert. Alert, alert, alert. It is written, man shall not live, not, not physically, this is spiritually it's talking about, by bread alone, it's mixing spiritual with physical. This, you just have to have eyes to see and ears to hear. But every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God, so listen, like it's not talking about physically. But it is, but it is. Okay, let me let me just read it and hopefully you'll get it. it. It is written, man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. So your everyday food is not going to keep your soul alive, okay? You got to read his word to keep your soul alive. You got to read his word to stay in him. He is the vine. We are the branches. Apart from him, we can do no good thing. We got to stay in his word. We got to be in this mountain of life. We got to be in this word. You can't rely on your old past when you used to get the word in you like I did for so long. We got to read his word. Write them down on index cards. Remember, it's not overwhelming. Just write a few scriptures on index cards and read them. And it'll be powerful. And really sit down. Be still. And know he's God. Everything's shut down because of the coronavirus. That's wonderful. 
This is a better time than ever. The whole world standing in awe in silence. <laughs> Listen, be still and know that he's God. Read his living word. Living word. And trust in him fully for your salvation, not on your own self. Which is something to meditate on for all of us. Really meditate on how we can't save ourselves. But we're saved by him. We gotta be meditating in his word because this this world is trying to pull us into a, a fear mode of, of worrying about the coronavirus and being um, very carnally minded. And, oh, I can't touch this. I can't touch that. Don't touch your face. Don't touch anybody. Don't hug anybody. Don't kiss anybody. Hey, no, no, don't even speak to me. Oh, it might be airborne. Don't breathe on me. That's so carnal minded. I wasn't given a spirit of fear. But of power, love, and a sound mind. A sound mind. This coronavirus isn't just physical. It's a spiritual attack on the people. On all of us. Against our minds. We have to stand on his word. We have to have his word in us. Don't rely on your old past when you read the Bible. Read it anew. Read it afresh. Read it every day. Because without it, we get pulled away from Christ. None of us are perfect. He says to be perfect as he's perfect. But we can't make ourselves perfect. It's it's him. It's it's him. His perfect love casts out fear. We're supposed to stand in his perfect love. And the only way we can be in his perfect love so that he can cast out all fear and we can be perfect by his perfect love is through reading his perfect word that is truth. All scripture is given for doctrine and reproof and correction and training in righteousness. We need this. When we drift away from it, we get we get lost in our heads. Come to the Lord. And if you know him, read his word. I hope you guys were blessed today. I really opened up in a very vulnerable way. And I feel like... I'm just going to post this and not even go by what other people think of me. I did this to the, unto the Lord. I did this unto you, Lord. I pray that it blesses your people. I pray that people come to know you from this video. That you would anoint it. And you would talk to each person individually just like you do a father. And that um, it would just really help people god and wake wake them up and help them not take the mark of the beast lord i pray that they don't take the mark of the beast father i pray that they would remember this video in a profound way it would really get in their soul and their heart and their life and they would really obey your word lord and they would read your word like we need to read your, myself included god i mean i don't want to play games anymore lord i don't want to go to any more dry wells in my life i want to go to your well of, and not put it aside anymore because i see the consequences of that i lose i we drift off into like not a very we just don't walk we can't do anything apart from you and people are thirsty my brother's thirsty and 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 i don't have your living waters in me like i used to and i want to have them in me more lord so help me stay in your living word and not just be a you know telling people this but actually really doing it myself father all of us father help us all do that father and really take a self-examination each of each of us and really just put everything else aside like you've shut everything down in the world right now you know help us to just really meditate on your word while we can before these uh this mark of the beast comes lord what you told us would happen in the book of revelations help us come to um 
<laughs> a real reality of your word. God, I think some people think that it's not really that real. But it is real. <laughs> it's happening. It's really happening. And people are just in sleepy zone. And they don't want to wake up and face reality. And they don't want to accept change. Help people accept change. And really wake up in the spirit, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, I'm going to read this to you guys. This is the Mark of the Beast scriptures. Um, I'm going to read um, chapter 13. 11 through 18. I don't, I need to get a highlighter and mark them up in my Bible. It shows me how long I have been out of my Bible. Okay. Because I got this nice one a couple years ago. <laughs> I need to meditate on the word, not just listen to it. And I beheld another beast coming out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. And he's Bake as a dragon, and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doth great wonders, so that he maketh Fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of all men and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should Make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. And the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would worship the image of the beast should be would not, I'm sorry. <laughs> and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. And the image of the beast should both, oh man, this is some wicked stuff people are going to be doing. And should both speak and cause as many would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. That's me. Hallelujah. I hope to be a martyr for Christ. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their... What? I just got a revelation. First, the people are going to make this image and beast that they worship come alive. And then they're going to do the mark. Oh, man, y'all got to go study chapter 13. Just read it. God will reveal things to you if you know him. I got to go read this myself, too, more. His word is alive and active, y'all. It really is alive. I'm going to finish reading it. And he had power to give them life unto the image of the beast. The image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would wor not worship, not not we're gonna be like Matt, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Not worship the be image of the beast should be killed, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell. Save that he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is the wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. And his number is six hundred and three score six. Which means six six six. Listen, just go go look up a Bible. 
go re meditate on chapter 13. I, um, I just got a revelation that, like, it might be happening that we die before the mark of the beast comes. From reading this right now. If we die before the mark of the beast comes. Well, that's just something interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Think about that. Go read it. Look, let me read it again to you guys. I'm going to read it again for myself, too. I'm going to read this again. This is just too good. We just got to do this again. Chapter 13. Or verse 11. Go get your Bible right now. You can push pause and go get your Bible. Okay, let's continue. And I beheld another beast coming out of the earth. Coming out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. And he spake as a dragon. It makes me think of that thing that Satanists use with that two-horned weird thing. Nasty looking weird satanic thing. It makes me think of that thing. And he spake as a dragon. And he exercised it all the power of the, they have, oh yeah, the devil has power. Of the first temporarily until he gets thrown in the lake of fire. Of the first beast before him. And cause it the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the, okay, this, this thing that's going to come out of the earth. That's going to speak like a dragon. That has power. He's going to cause the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the beast. Whose deadly wound was healed. Uh huh. He does great wonders. Including the fire from heaven. Wow. Wow. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. And the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Oh, hell no. I'm not worshiping no the f no SpaghettiOs. I ain't worshiping that image. No way. No way. No way. Hell no. I'm going to be like Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego. Cool. Kill me. Because I ain't worshiping the beast. Hell no. But this this world is if they don't know Jesus. He caught. And then it says. And he causeth all. Both small and great. Rich and poor. Free and bond. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he had the number of he listen he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name Oh, wow. You guys got to go. Just I'm just getting download from God right now. Uh, <laughs> like, whoa. Okay, this is what I got. I think the number of the beast might be like... The restaurants. Like Disneyland. They have the 666 in it. You know... Maybe you haven't seen videos, but I have. I have seen videos where they show you how the 666 is written in the name. The companies, they don't need the mark. The company, the owner of the companies, they, they work for the devil. That's what the revelation I got was.
I don't know. You have to, um, you know, take it to the Lord yourself. Or maybe it clicks this truth for you. This is, I'm just sharing you guys what I think. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying I got everything right all the time. I'm just sharing my heart with you guys and, and sharing the word and what I understand. And I'm not a perfect man that has it all together. Who does have their doctrine all right? Like, I'm just, I'm reading the word out of the Holy Spirit. Maybe, maybe sometimes a demon operates through me. I'm not sure. But I'm telling you guys, I think this is the truth. I think... But, um, just go meditate on this. This is deep. This is some deep, deep stuff. And it's deep, 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 deep stuff. His word is alive and active and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. And is the discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, he causeth all to receive that mark in their hand or in their forehead that no man might buy or sell. They have control of the system. Look how they shut everything down with the coronavirus. Unless he has that mark or say, it says save that he has the mark or the name of the beast. Or oh, see, there's an or here. Or the name of the beast. Oh, no, no, no. Or the number of his name. number of his name the people with the number of his name like the companies like Disneyland with the six six in it six in it they're part of the antichrist already system they're gonna have their little machines so people that have the mark in their hand or forehead can be scanned Oh, y'all, you don't want to get this mark. Do you know what happens? You know what the Bible, I don't know where it is. You have to go re read the book of Revelations. You'll be blessed. But in the book of Revelations, it talks about those people that get the mark. And they're going to have sore boils on their hand. Something's going to happen, physical, like pain. <laughs> and... People aren't going to die for like five months and some scorpions are going to come out of the earth and sting people and they're still not going to come to repentance. Oh my goodness. The book of Revelations is phenomenal. Listen, I hope you're ready to die for Christ. I hope you are. I hope you are because I just got a revelation and understanding of the Bible I never had before. And that is that they are going to make an image to the beast and people are going to worship these beasts that's going to come alive because of the power of Satan. And, you know, God's all allowing all this shenanigans from the enemy, um, you know, and people are being sorted like fish right now. Bad fish, good fish. You going to heaven or hell. So, I mean, unless you're in Jesus Christ, you're not a good fish. We're all stinky fish that suck and should be thrown away. But if you come to Jesus, he'll make you a good clean fish. He'll clean you out and, um, you know, and make you right with the Lord. And then you can read his word and he changes you from the inside out. But you, it's a change you can't do in and of yourself. It's only through his Holy Spirit. That's why we're not good in and of ourselves. We're only good by him. And you have to come to repentance and be in relationship and read his word regularly. We need to stay in his word. We need to stay in his word. 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 But we're, we're saved by him and what he did for us. Not by anything in and of ourselves, including how well we read the word. It's, it's by what he did for us. He's a good father. But we need to stay in his word so that we can stay alive in the spirit, y'all. We gotta stay alive and we gotta stay connected to the vine. Actually, you gotta obey the word. I'm gonna just like end this video there. Hope you guys were blessed. I did this unto you, Lord. Uh, to the best of my ability. <laughs>
I'm a flawed person. But I thank you for your grace and your mercy and your forgiveness, God. I thank you that even though I don't have everything together in my brain, um, um, you know, like none of us really do, um, you're the one that real wisdom comes from, God, and that, um, you love me. I'm grateful that you love me, God, and that you are, uh, I thank you that I could, um, just be used by you today. I believe I was used by you to make this video, and I pray that if... Um, it's not, <laughs> I think it was of you, Lord. I just did my best, Lord. I just pray that what I said doesn't hurt your precious sheep, but it only helps them, God. And that they would grow in you. I'm not a perfectly put together Christian. Nobody is. But I, I just want to draw closer to you, and I want others to draw closer to you, and I want to walk in your light and your truth and nothing but your pure truth, Lord. And I want to... I want to grow in the knowledge of you and, and in the light, Lord. I just want to stay in your word and draw, keep. And I know that by being in your word is really when I feel closest to you. It's really when I feel closest. And it's just the hardest thing in my life. It's the one thing that is the hardest thing. I keep getting pulled away from your word. But truly, it is a well of life, God. Out of the, abund out of, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And, I, and, and when I have your word, then you just flow out and... You said rivers of living living water will flow out of our bellies, and that that's just what is happening, and that's what happens when I'm in Your Word. Help me, help me stay in Your Word, Lord. Thank you, God, and use this video to bless people. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you guys. You're loved by God. Seek Him, draw close to Him, and He'll draw close to Him to you. Purify your sinners and cleanse your let me look that script. I don't know what scripture is. I don't know where it is. <laughs> but he says that. You can Google it. We need, to, we need to draw close to him. But we also have to purify our hands. That means you need to turn from sin. And, and, and fear the Lord. Rather than fearing men. Fear the Lord. Don't fear men. And, and don't fear what they can do to your body. But fear the one that can cast both the soul and the body into hell. Fear fear God. Don't fear men. Don't fear death. I'm excited. I'm like, cut my head off with a guillotine. I'm cool with that. I'm ready to go. You're going to see how wicked people's hearts are. The heart, the Bible says people's hearts are desperately wicked. Who could know it? I'm excited to, to get my head cut off for Jesus. I'm excited. It's going to be like that, man. Like when you get hit, when you get cut on your finger, you don't even realize it for like two seconds. And then you're like, oh, it burns. It hurts. It's bleeding. So imagine if you get your head cut off, like you're gone. Like God's going to rip your spirit out at the right timing. You're not going to feel nothing. It's just going to be like, oh, you're just looking at something. And then all of a sudden, no more. Just like when you fall asleep at night, you don't even know when you fall asleep, right? You'd be laying on your bed and then, and like, you're just like, oh, I don't even remember going to sleep last night. It just happens. That's, that's what it's going to be like. It's going to be cool. There's no fear in Christ. He, in, in his perfect love, it casts out all fear. So walk with the Lord. So he can cast out all the fear from you. And you can live in his perfect peace. And, and and have that hope of eternity. I'm excited, man. Heaven's gonna be like nothing we've ever seen. Imagine all the wonderful luxuries of this world. Oh my goodness, they don't compare to what God has prepared for those that love him. And he's gonna work all things out together for the good of those that love him that are called according to his purpose. Which is a lot better than serving the purpose of this world. <laughs> This world's passing away. Don't store your treasures on earth where moth and doth doth corrupt, where thieves break through and steal. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.